The gunfire erupted just after midnight Monday in this parking lot of the Club Blue in Fort Myers, Florida. A special party for underage teens had just come to an end, and many of the kids were waiting for their parents to pick them up. Neighbors were still trying to make sense of what happened. Juan Santibanez was close by. He said he recently moved here from Houston, Texas, hoping Fort Myers would be less violent. When I had pulled up, I was barely walking, and all of a sudden you just hear like some automatic weapons go off, and you just hear like 15 shots back to back, another 15, another 15, and all of a sudden you just see a whole bunch of kids just running through the bags. Some were shot and everything, and it was just a tragic event. I was scared. I hit the floor, and then at that, I mean, bullets ain't got no name. I got two little girls, so just imagine if one of them would have hit the window. Police try to calm an anxious public while keeping most details to themselves. This was not an act of terror. This was not a terrorist act. We have three persons of interest in custody. Uh, I'm not going to go into that, who they are, and we're still looking for others. Police identified the victims killed as 18-year-old high schooler Stefan Strauder, a star basketball player, and 14-year-old Sean Archiles. Injuries range from minor to life-threatening. Two of the wounded remain hospitalized in critical condition. Most of the injured were treated and released. The youngest victim, just 12 years old. Authorities are asking the community and the young witnesses to come forward with information. Fort Myers' violent crime rate is twice the national average. This latest act of violence has the state of Florida on edge just six weeks after 49 people were gunned down at an Orlando nightclub, the worst mass shooting in U.S. history. Nitsa Soledad Perez, CCTV, Fort Myers, Florida.